Oh, we'll be all right with the wind in our sail. Oh, we'll be all right with the wind in our sail. We'll be all right with the wind in our sail, and we'll all roll on behind. And we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll roll the old chariot along and we'll all roll on behind. Hi guys, do the food here. So today I'm going to do some uh, white wine mussels or known on the continent, rubles marinere. So before I get on with it, I'm just going to show you, give you a little lesson quickly about mussels, the different types of mussels, as in a look of them. So you see in the picture that I got these from Morrison's down the road in the Whoops counter. So if you see this first and foremost, um, of a wee kind of shell and kind of like, it's like a parasite that lives on it. These can be cleaned off. It's quite hard. You need to be very careful. Just taking your time on a on a chopping board, and they will come off. I'll just kind of do this just now, okay? So don't get me wrong. I just did that on the drain board. So that's it cleaned up. This muscle is safe to use. Other ones, you'll see ones like this where they are open, so what we should do with this is we give it a little tap and we try to look to see if it is closing, so I can see some movement there, so this muscle is alive, which means we can use it. If you get a muscle like this, uh, that's kind of broken, the shell's not good, just chuck it away and the muscle will be dead and it could poison you. And other ones, again, like this, you can clean it off. Um, the, the wee kind of parasite. And that is about it. So, I don't have any here whereby there's a wee rope on it. The muscles that I got were actually pretty clean as I got them. So now we're going to get into it, cook your muscles in live time, and plate it up and show you how to do it, okay? So, get the stove on, let it heat up a little bit. Uh, in this stage, what I do is I start with a little bit of lemon juice while well, that's kind of heating up, okay? And I'll show you in a little minute why. I've already got my uh, garlic all kind of chopped down, so I'm going to put a little bit of that in just now. And I'll just stir that in. So that's now starting to take a bit of heat at this stage. I will pour the mussels into the pot. So I'll put the lid on now, okay? And then with the heat starting to heat up the pot some more, this will create the steam from the lemon juice and a little bit of garlic. And this will help to just kind of vaporise the bits of meat inside the mussel as the mussel shell start to open up, okay? So in a little minute, you've got two choices now. Some restaurants, once the shells are open, We'll keep any excess juice that's come from the, the mussel shells in the pot and we'll cook along with this. Nothing up with that. Or some people will like to pour this wee bit of excess water out because they feel as though it kind of sort of taints the flavour of the mussels. Maybe gives it too much of a sort of a sea fish flavour. Um, that's what I do. I, I kind of pour out this wee bit of excess juice. Otherwise it can be known as the brie and I just kind of feel as though when we put in the other flavours into the mussels that um, it, it's more beneficial. So I'm just going to give it a little stir just now. I'm also going to add in the, the chopped onions just now. So, shallots are better to use but I never had these at hand today so I'm not going to worry too much about that, okay? So, another little minute. You can see the steam starting to condense on the pot of the lid. That means um, the kind of air from the shells starting to uh, mix with the heat and create this. So inside here we've got you know, quite a lot going on. The shells will start, and start to open up now and you'll start to take on the flavour of the onion, the garlic that I've already put in, and a little bit of lemon juice. 
I will add more lemon juice and garlic once I've got rid of the excess um, liquor or water in a, in a little moment when we take the lid off. Just that kind of bubbling away. The shells are starting to open up. seconds or so each. So take this off, just going to go over by the sink just to get rid of the excess water. So as we've done that part, I'm going to add in some more garlic now. And I think if you do that, then certainly you will Ward away any vampires. So, a good bit of lime. And lemon juice again. Some cream, whipping cream, double cream. Doesn't kind of really matter. Depending on how thick you want the juice to be. So, we'll give that stuff. You can see most of these. Shells have opened up. If at, if at the end of the cooking session um, you plate some up and some muscle shells don't open up whatsoever, then you won't be able to get into them, so you won't eat those things. Okay. Just going to add in a little bit of the chopped parsley just now. Put the lid back on for a good in two minutes. Okay, so let's look in this pot. So you can see that's all bubbling away. Nice. The sauce is reducing somewhat. The mussels will take in all the flavour of the ingredients we've got in there. Get a bit of last wee stuff. We can probably turn off the heat now. And then we're about to plate these up. So let's plate this up. So this is enough for say two uh, medium coarse sized portions or four smaller starter sized portions of tea. So just put that, plate all that up. Very good sized portion if you really like mussels. Bit of the juice. Bit of the parsley. I'm also tonight going to serve this with some homemade fries. I've made very healthy fries because I've made this in the air, air fryer tonight. Put on a bit of sea salt, parsley. And that's us done. And lastly, we're going to just have some beer. This tonight, to niche. And that is us.